We're live. Hi, everyone. This is Sarah. Hi, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Dead Space. Welcome back. Okay. I'm going to do better this time. I'm actually going to look at the explosions. I, yes. I apologize for not doing that last time. Sarah just wants to save the people. I really want to save the people. And I was like, oh, wait, she'll let him talk. I need you to get that centrifuge operational. Refuel the main engine and fire it up so I can stabilize the ship's orbit. You have to crank the centrifuge. Isaac, all the hamsters that run on our wheels are dead. They got killed by necromorphs. We're gonna need someone to get those wheels spinning again. Did you, sir? Did I show you that that uh, <laughs> the elevator in Blight Town? In Dark Souls One. Keep talking. I'm gonna sneeze. Ugh. Uh, I got pepper in my nose. We had a sandwich break. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, remember the, the elevator out of Blighttown in Dark Souls 1 that has a little dog on a hamster wheel powering it? Yes. Yes. What oh, a, my goodness. What a fucking detail to put in your game, Miyazaki. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-S. Uh, so, yeah, Sarah has committed to uh, looking at the cinematic stuff. That's That's the thing about having cinematic shit in a game. And, like, maybe, you know, people should just know. But on the other hand, like, if you give somebody control in a game, then they'll use it to control the game. Personal log. Acting chief and, and so you always get scripted shit where people look away. And, like, if you were just drag the mouse from them, they would just look. The panic, the riots, they were nothing compared with what came But I'll let this guy talk. Our friends, our coworkers started coming back. Coming back to kill us, drag us away. Rucker disappeared this morning, and I have to assume he's dead. That means I don't have to fill out his pay stub. Starting to crack. It was very rude. I'm trying to keep an eye on them, but right now I have bigger problems. We're hemorrhaging fuel, and the primary engine is laboring. Danvers and I are going to try to reach the fuel depot to see if we can fix it. Temple out. Unfortunately, Danvers' characterization is all over the place. He's had like 30 huge. different names. I'm thinking of both Carol Danvers and Linda, Linda Danvers, I, I know, just realized. One day this is going to bite me in the butt of, like, going the alternative path. That's the thing. Like, do you remember, like, how... Uh, did you ever play Last of Us? Uh, no. Back away and back up. Ooh, pretty. It's a waveform. This is Temple. Now the centrifuge Rock again. Is We've got four trillion tons of rock hanging off our ass, and without that centrifuge to balance the ship, the gravity tethers will pull us straight down to the colony. I'm heading in there now to see if I can fix it. Don't need to upgrade anything yet? It's a bench. Oh, yeah, we also ran the uh, recording back to see why Sarah tried to, like, run through it. It's because I told her to go kill it. Because I... Okay, so... I, I mentioned that I did this uh, when we were playing Half-Life 1. But we keep playing these games where you play as a silent protagonist who's an engineer or some other smart job. Which is the best type of protagonist, by the way. Yeah. The silent protagonist. You got you can kind of, like, project yourself onto them. That's why they do it. Um, but, yeah, while I was playing Half-Life 1 with Sarah, I was like, man, you know what? I want Half-Life 2. And, like, all while we were playing Half-Life 1, I was just wishing that we were playing 2. And so in between recording sessions, I played Half-Life 2 and all the expansions. De de oh, decontamination. I thought it's a detonation. Anyway, so um, in Dead Space 2... Oh, fuck me, running. Might want to get your big gun ready. Can you scroll the wheel on the mouse? Uh, Not a good time. It changes weapons. It's supposed to, at least. Hmm. Man, they just fucking locked you in here. No, it does not. Damn, that's weird. That's you would think that would be standard. Okay, where is it? Listen, there he is. Good. Reload that thing. Remember that you had almost no ammo last time. Anyway, so I was playing Dead Space Two, and uh, infectors are a big problem in that game. And when they introduce you to them, there's never anything between you and them. They're just, it's just a problem. So I was expecting that, and I told Sarah, run up and go kill them. So that's on me. Uh, and, and so it starts the whole, like, encounter off on a miscommunication. 
Well, he's dead. Alright. And the music has gone quiet, which is usually a good uh, sign. Oh, well, yeah. Thank you for explaining that, because, like, I often am, like, uh, like, auditory processing. I just kind of, like, skip things. Yeah. So I didn't see the glass, and I assumed that they would just dump you in. But, like, this game's actually surprisingly forgiving, especially considering I'm playing through Dead Space 2 on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> But like, yeah. we were talking about how much ammo Sarah had in her backpack. Like, you still have a lot. But like, I uh, I appreciate, like, like running in back and, like, uh, kind of, like, getting an explanation of, like, why did I feel the need to uh, try and uh, kill an unkillable enemy? See, so, yeah, it was me. Although, again, like, there there is just a, a bunch of disconnect between how strong Isaac is because what's that gun you're holding, Sarah? What's it called? The plasma cutter? What, yeah, what do you think it's for? It's it, arms? No, it, like in the real world. Cutting plasma? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> the plasma cutter. It cuts plasma. I have plasma no cutters use plasma to cut. They're actually real. Okay, what are they used for? Cutting through rocks. Mm. So you would think you could use a plasma cutter to cut through metal, which is a type of rock. True. And if we really want to get chemical about it, rocks are just a type of metal. Um, that gun's full. So I got the item I needed, right? Uh, I think you have to go through here. Okay. But again, you're going not the critical path, so we can't use our guide. Watch there be a way to use the guide and we're just not knowing it this entire time. Well, I don't know what it would be, because it's not the scroll wheel. By the way, can you use the arrow keys to change your weapon? Uh, nope, and I can't use the scroll. That's so weird. Why is it just the number keys? Especially considering it has a radio menu. Like, <laughs> it was it was built for don't go in console, I know. And it looks good on console and it works very well. And like, that's why you have like, your trigger, your, both your triggers, your bumpers used so well and why like, it's kind of awkward to do that on, on PC. And like, quick heal is just mapped to the face. Like, it, it is better to play with a controller, but I'm making Sarah do this. So when she plays Half-Life 2, it's smoother. Credits. Ooh. No, no. I know there was good stuff over here. Is this just like gooped over? Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that reminds me. We also have seen two new variations on the normal necromorphs, which I believe are just called slashers. We've seen spitter types. Um, I can't remember. I know in two that those are practically their own new type, and they're just like, they're way more humanoid, but with uh, enlarged abdomens and throats. Well, I feel very welcome here. I can't even be sarcastic right now. I'm... Uh, I want those goodies. If only you could reach something Pulse from rounds. further away. Hmm. Thank you. What What did I get? A semiconductor? A gold semiconductor. Oh, that can sell that, right? Yep, a treasure. Semiconductors are all treasure. They're not crafting in this game. I don't remember if they are in three, but... Yeah. Uh, back to the first slot. Oh. No. Sorry. It, no. What's that auditory processing again? Ain't that a bitch. Egg hey, gun. So do I just run out of air every time I use it? What? Like it persists? Does me not having air persist? Um, so I get air cans, right? Yeah. When I use my air, does it stay gone or does it refill every time? It refills if you get back to atmosphere. But if I just use it all, then that's gone forever? I guess I don't understand the purpose of air cans. Okay. Well, that's why they got rid of them in Dead Space 2. But in this game, you only have 70 seconds of air by default. Okay. If you burn through those and you're not done with a puzzle, you need more air. Can you remind me what... 
Can you remind me how to do the uh, gravity jumping thing? Uh, aim and control with enough space to do it. Sorry. Control. With enough space to do it. You can't shoot yourself down there. And you got you got hostiles as well. Can I just get rid of them? Get rid of who? The hostiles in the room. You could shoot in them, yeah. Sorry, I'm having difficulty getting through this door. So is he... Good. Thank you. So that was two plasma rounds and you got six. So you can see how you can keep a... So that's why you keep ending up with so many fucking plasma rounds. So now you hit alt. Or uh, control in this game. Uh, what? Did you see the thing that popped up on screen? Yes. You know you can get closer to it, too, right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just a little confused. All right, control. There's, like, three different things that I'm trying to do, and, like, I'm just so unused to. So, what's the problem? It's spinning. Mm-hmm. So, stasis first. Then. And then sling it in. And now it's locked in place. Okay. Sure. This uh, stage of the puzzle has been solved. Or as Katie says, uh, sure. Uh, control? Yep. Donk. Thud. There was another thing I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention, okay. Next 30 seconds has spoilers for Dead Space 3. Nope, like next 10 seconds, okay? They start now. So, Sarah knows that the final boss of Dead Space 3 is a giant moon made out of flesh. And she knows this because I told her. Okay, spoilers are done, but suffice to say, Sarah knows what the final boss of Dead Space 3 is. Um, and the reason she knows that is because we were just idly watching like horror games last year. Um, and one of them just happened to be Dead Space 2 because we were just watching it and so we were just shooting the shit and talking about horror games and I like caught her up on Dead Space because I didn't know that she was going to be playing it uh, and this year we watched Where? The Shitstorm by the same people ah! you get him yeah. get those limbs Get more limbs. Attempt. Remember, you can walk and shoot. You're not Leon. All right. That was... It's all right. It was all right. Anyway, so yeah. Um, so this year we watched... Uh, the, the LP we watched was why Super Best Friends Play. My favorite Let's Play group. Um... And until their closure in 2018? Should I be here? Yeah. There's a handrail. You're running out of oxygen, by the way. That's why I asked if I should be here. Well, you have oxygen, but you just got to get back to the safe zone. You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Where am I going? There and focus on the engine. I don't know how much time we have left. Where am I going? Alfred? You're going out the way you came in. You walked into the um, giant spinning arm. I see. Careful, those things aren't dead again. You have to kill them again. Good. Another one. Good. Took a hit. Ah. You can walk and shoot. Worse. Well, because I was going to try and switch arms because I had a better aim, but then I was like, oh, no, I, need, I don't need to sh switch arms. Oh, God. Okay. How did you get in here? That door? Over there. Yeah. Okay. So...
Centrifuge activated. Re-establishing balance with planetary cargo. Gravity restored. Can I? Entering vacuum. No. What you doing? Why can't I jump over there? Didn't you listen? No. It said gravity restored. Oh. You just turned the gravity back on in here, in fact. You're doing great, Isaac. Okay, wait. Don't look at the wall. Look at the wall. Okay. What? At the wall. What wall? That wall. Okay. Danger. Don't stand in the swinging arm. Okay. And there's an elevator, much like that other elevator. Wait. Underneath the other door. So, where do I go? You gotta walk along that area. Without getting hit? Without getting hit. If I'd... only you had a way to slow it down. I see. Uh, um. See? Did it work? I don't know, but you should run. Um, Weird. I guess I could just try to see if this works. You could just try running it, yeah. I'm trying. Yeah, that didn't work. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just, I'm not, it's asking me to do three different things and I'm not too, too familiar with it right now. Nice. You know me. Okay. Gamer mode. Is it alive? Um. What? It's not letting me stop aiming. That was weird. Was it because I hit caps lock? Might be. You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Now get out of there and focus on the engine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh! No, no, I'm not laughing at you. It's just his head went spinning. <laughs> Can I try it again? Well, how about you do this part? I feel like they, I feel like the fact that you can like stasis these should be like a gimme, right? Oh my god, this is so fucking uncomfortable. Look at how I have to oh, bend my wrist. Sorry. I'm in agony. Does that help? Yeah, a little. If you get on there, you won't. You're doing great, Isaac. Centrifuge and gyros are both 100% and stabilized. Now get out of there and focus on the engine. Hmm. I don't know how much time we have left. I just don't get it. Seriously, why does he just stop running though? Does he just like run out of air? No, he has air. Does he like run out of stamina? I don't know. I've never known him to do that. Hmm. Is there another control somewhere? Like where we came in, is there another control panel? Maybe. Let's try hopping across and seeing if there's a control panel. What the hell happened to his arm? Also, this isn't cheating. This is called using my resources. Okay. 
Maybe I should have gone the critical path. Maybe. Certainly might make it a lot easier. Anyway, Last of Us has a lot of shit where, like, you just want to avoid the critical path, but you feel like you just keep ending up on it again. Oh. Hmm. I see. What? You have to go the opposite way. You have to go the opposite way. Okay. Okay, now that I know, I can give it a shot. Okay. Be my guest. Thank you for your help. Mm -hmm. Little, little, uh... It's kind of weird, because I so assumed that you would just slow it down. Like, they give you so much stuff to do with stasis. Hello, guy. Well, he's the engineer. Um... Careful, don't just charge in. Yep. Oh man, you have to go so long. Wow. Oh, I see what happened. It cut through the. Uh, careful. <laughs> that stomp. That stomp ate up some of your time. Good. Right through the shoulder. Like, there's just so many, like, cubbies in here. It's so quiet, I feel like I have to be quiet. Yeah. Isn't it cool? Okay. All right, Sarah. Standby, of course. Exiting vacuum. Yay! We did it! Yeah. Thank you for your help. Mm hmm Anyway, so yeah, so, um... This one? Yeah. Enter. Got off topic again, but, um... Yeah, we watched an LP of Dead Space 2. And this year we were watching just a marathon of horror games, and Dead Space 1 was in there. And like, shit, Dead Space 1 is good. I'll play Dead Space 1. New guy. Shoot. Sorry, it's... It jerks you around, yeah. It's mostly scripted. Oh, it turns invisible. Great. Yeah, it's mostly scripted, but good job. Thank you. Anyway, that's what ripped that big ass hole. Gods. It's like a snake necromorph. Snecromorph. <laughs> Snecromorph. Um, i trying to think what else I need to like catch the viewership up on. Oh yeah, Sarah asked <laughs> about what, sh when she says something and then says, wait, you can edit that out, right? It adds yeah. like five minutes to my workload every time. And I was like, I was like, wait, is, is that bad? And you're like, well. Since you mentioned. So, uh. Ah, ah. Good. So, uh, I'm gonna try and talk and walk and. Oh yeah, we also talked about like standing still while while talking. Cause I think about it, and it's like that kind of sometimes makes me bored of an LP, especially when I'm, um you know, really interested in the gameplay. Yeah. Like, I could love the Let's Player and be like, shut up and play, you know? Yeah. Go, slave. No. There we go. God. You do one. Oh, yours is good. Should I heal? No. Okay. You got three pegs of health. <laughs> Back 
to the safe zone where nothing could ever hurt me. I just, I just saved. That's fine. So, you got downstairs. Besides, saving is fast. And they still want me to go there. So, hey, side path. Side path, good. Yeah, it looks like you're just doing the side object, like the, the objectives before you're supposed to. Wait, sell the conductor. Nope. 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 There it is. I like your 720 degree turn. Do you want to see? Do you want to do it for me? Yeah. What am I? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Thank you, cutie. I'm going to sell another order of plasma. These fucking pulse rounds it keeps giving yeah. you. Uh, Go ahead. Another one? Yeah. You can also sell the medium air can. Um. We can also store things. I would rather just keep it on my person. Okay. You want to get a new gun? You want two plasma? Uh, pulse? Uh, fucking. What are they? They're just nodes, right? Um, I'm probably wanting another node. You can get two. Nice. Thanks. You're the one playing here. Yeah, but you're the one who took care of my shop for me. My, my shop, Bane. I was like, why am I putting my my elbow straight into your abdomen? And I was like, ah, the keyboard moved. My awareness is like minus 10 when playing, when like focusing in really hard on a video game. Yeah. What was I doing? Should I save? I yeah, you bought stuff. Oh wait, uh, is there a bench? Upstairs. There's a bench upstairs. Should I go upstairs? To get the... Uh, do you want the bench or not? <laughs> well, I'm just trying to see what would save time. Ugh. You know what wastes time? Trying to save time. Yeah. <sighs> so how was your day, love? I spent the whole thing with you. You know exactly how my day was. Did you enjoy yourself? Of course. As you can see by our shirts, we're still, it's still the same day as we recorded episode two. Yeah, welcome to part, like, four of me avoiding my homework. You know, despite uh, what she said in the episode, she actually did go and do her homework. I did. And I've done my homework. Uh, nope. Uh, I did my homework before I started playing this. But I've had a miserable week. I've been very sick with possibly COVID. Uh, possibly. Or just a COVID plus, or... Or cold plus allergies. Um, what are you upgrading? Uh, let's see. Here? Yeah. You can get a null, a damage, and a cap. Um, I think I should go up here because that would be the in more. M so that would be the smartest way, don't you think? I, I don't know if you've misunderstood what I mean. Um. Respecking stuff costs nodes, but you don't need to respec. Um, but what you need, you can only start at these two places. Yes. Once you put a node in there, you can go anywhere from there. Yeah. But only from there. Right. So you can go to any of these nodes that you're able to get at or here. But I'm thinking if I go... Um if I go to CR CRP, then damage, instead of just going to damage and then uh, reload, that it would just be a more intelligent way to use the nodes. Yeah, but you could also go damage and cap this way and then get another damage. Ooh. Yeah, that's smart. Thanks, kid. Mm-hmm. Because this one's a dead end, whereas this one lets you get more stuff. Yeah, that's so smart. Um... And what's that? That's capacity? Yeah. Nice, nice. Hot dog. But remember to save a node. Yeah. So I'm up by three damage and up by two on everything else. Yep. Right on. That was so, totally worth it. Mm-hmm. So why don't you aim your gun? You got 12 nice. now. Nice. And you notice what you didn't do? What didn't I do? To get bullets into your gun. I didn't have to reload. So, just like in Resident Evil, upgrading your ammo capacity means that the gun gets refilled to full no matter what it was at. absolutely my favorite. Oh, it's the best. It's it's how I have survived Dead Space 2 on Zealot. 
Um, because fuck, Dead Space 2 is hard. I really enjoy the way you um, teach me things. You never like straight out tell me. You're just like, and then, you know? I'm something of a trickster. Trixie. It's how I taught Robert to play Dark Souls as well. We were talking about that, actually. We really want to... I, I really want to do a Dark Souls LP for the channel. Oh, yeah. I'd love to do that. Chapter 3, Course Correction. What is the name of the first chapter? Off the top of my head, I do not know. I don't you remember you are free either. to be my guy in the chair. Hmm. Dead Space Chapters. New Arrivals is the name of the first chapter. Can you smell well in... Sarah, come on, that was such a gimme. You're switching legs again. Handled. That was embarrassing. You didn't take any damage. <laughs> yeah, you see a perfect necromorph there and you're like, I will trust you implicitly. Ah, oh, well, son of a bitch! None of them so far, except like the one in the first episode, have jumped up. So like, good, good planning on their part. Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, Sarah, I was literally playing Dead Space 2 yesterday, and I was like, man, wouldn't it be funny if they put in a necromorph in this elevator, and then and then the elevator door opens, and I hear a roar, and I just like, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said shit. I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said shit. I was so mad. I was like, oh, you, look at this oven, man. Ha ha, guys. Go to hell. Anyway, deck log. Hallow F, A, B. Don't know what's been going on around here. Someone said the ship's been attacked. Who the hell would attack us out here? First the captain dies, now we get attacked. Carmack says someone on the bridge staff killed him. Can't believe that. Oh, killed the captain. Sorry, I thought Ka I thought Carmack was a ghost. Mm -hmm. Goddamn chaos now. Can't get to the bridge. Can't get through to anyone. Everyone's running, getting the hell out of here. I should probably join them. And tab to exit. Look. Um, it's a fucking bench. But yeah, as I was saying, I really enjoy the way you teach me things because... Um, we don't need to do anything, remember? Correct. Uh, warning, don't slice off your own fingers. <laughs> I do really like how much of this is like OSHA compliant. Like it, it, it demarcates pinch points. It demarcates hazardous areas. It tells you when something is designed around a specific tool. Don't fucking trust you, you little bitch. Hey, so remember the infector? Kill it! Kill it! So what are you doing? Oh, oh! I just gave myself heartburn. <laughs> what exactly did you think was going to happen? He's going to come and get him. If I tear up the corpse, will he still reanimate them? No. So I can tear up the corpse. So, so yeah. I had the right idea, though, right? Yes. Although I do want to say um, that actually was that was a leaper, not an infector. Infectors look like big like skin they just they look like you skinned a guy and then like let it glide you know like one of those like living cloaks from D&D that like mimics that turn into coats nope what I do caps lock just makes you go into permanent aiming mode that's super weird you did it again sorry folks you're doing it again. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> Just hit shift. Okay. We did that in the first episode, but I guess it didn't do anything because we didn't have a gun. I was trying to say something. I like... Okay. So, I've had my fair share of, you know, not bad teachers, but teachers I just didn't... Who didn't really understand my learning style, and I didn't really understand the way they were trying to teach me. Um, and I do not like to be orally, like, tested. Uh, they're like, okay, what can you remember? And it's like the pressure of trying to remember something puts just like a mental block. Um, and I also just don't like a teacher who's like, and here's the answer, and here's the answer, and here's the answer, because I don't really feel like I'm having a part in my education. Um... And, you know, sometimes that's good, sometimes it's not. But Should I really... up? Huh? What? Okay, cool. Sorry, I had it. No, no, you're good. Um, I love when a teacher has a conversation with you. They lead you to the answer. Uh... Good. They lead you to the answer, and then when you get it, 
they 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 put that positive reinforcement and they compliment you they say great good wonderful you're almost there instead of being like okay and then what's next like they're expectant and i think that's really the the worst way to try to teach someone who's anxious like me like maybe it works for some people maybe the anxiousness is like or the pressure they're like oh this is a challenge this makes me think better but man not for me that is not my style of learning so i really appreciate the way you teach me things and i didn't even have to tell you the way i wanted to be teaching you you just you just were like on it i enjoy teaching that way yeah i think it's so helpful so um so there's a couple of firefights in dead space 2 where like i i solved the problem Ah, oh, great, it's these guys. Yeah, see, now they're coming with with the big boy. Sorry, everyone. So, yeah, they drain the shit out of your health. Upgrading the armor will help them, like, stop them from doing that as bad, but... Yeah. But, yeah, um, they're a problem. Was that something I can use the nodes for? Uh, nodes upgrade your armor, yeah. Did I pull this down already? No. Can I? Yeah. Oh, with... <laughs> Excuse me. See? Everything's OSHA compliant and demarcated. Oh. Just, guys, it's right there. Oh, should I look at that? It's a cool little animation. Ah, see, I'm learning. Oh, that's really neat. It look, kind of looks like a mech. Yeah. I've been really into mechs recently, but I don't want to be off topic. Hold on. I don't want to start talking about mechs and... You haven't seen Aliens, so you don't know how on topic you are. Ugh. Gross. Sorry, I'm trying desperately not to hit the caps locks. Where? Okay. Come to me. This would be a perfect time for a thing to come and I'm gonna kill that. I'm gonna squish it. I'm gonna I'm gonna Why don't you just pick it up and drop it off the side? Let him go. <laughs> okay, do you need to throw him? Because you can left click while kinesising. There he goes. Hold on, guys. I'll get this eventually. So you've taken off one of his arm blades. I want the body. Your device needs to restart. Just dudes. ignore that. That's okay. just Windows. Sorry. I'm here, everyone. <laughs> I'm still kind of <laughs> salty about the time where you just announced that I haven't updated my Google Chrome, even though that wasn't relevant to the LP at all. <laughs> Are you really a... Uh, 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 I just can't believe you did that. <laughs> I outed you? Yeah. It's my own business whether or not I want to update <laughs> Google Chrome. I can update Google Chrome for you, honey. I, I can update Google Chrome myself. I just don't trust these fucking sycophants. I, 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 prior to uh, having a Google phone, I had a no. iPad. I had a bunch of Apple uh, products. Most of my family did, in fact. Don't switch legs, just cut off the limb and call it a day. No, no, no. You got the line gun as well if you need it. And you're gonna, you're out. Nope. Now, other key, there you go. Ugh, fuck me. For the love of... So the line gun was not refilled. Yes. I thought I refilled it. We got more ammo, but nobody reloaded it. <laughs> I like how you say that like you're here with me. <laughs> like like we're both in the game. It's yeah. very immersive. I love that. But that's why capacity is important. 
And also, why using Kinesis to kill can be good. Yeah. Because you were dry there, but you could have picked up those explosive barrels, or you could have dragged some blades off of the dead necros and use those as weapons. Um, the thing about that is that when given so many options like that, I kind of feel like it's it's almost really hard for me to um, switch gears. And so it's almost easier for me to pick a way I'm going to defeat them rather than try to switch very rapidly. Though that might just be like a, you know, I don't think that's a game design thing. I think that's just a me thing. Um, I would almost tell you to prioritize Kinesis. primary engine and damage the valves in the process. They need to be repaired before I can reopen them, but we're running out of time. With the engine offline, orbit decay will begin in less than 10 hours. I just can't understand who would do this. If it's one of those crazy unitologist bastards, I'll break their neck. Shut up, Danvers! Help me with the tools. Temple out. I can't decide if I like Temple or not. He's kind of... <laughs> He's eccentric. Yeah. So, so I can at least say I like his character. Yeah. So here's this. I would prioritize using Kinesis to kill over anything else. Because Kinesis is free. If you can just use, you know, Kinesis to just shoot a hole through something, then you haven't spent any ammo. Weird. Whoa, did you hear my heart rate, heart rate? Yeah. That one scared Isaac. But as you can hear, they're using these vents to get around. Sorry? Yeah, the thing about having everything in the interface be like this... I talked about it in the first episode. I think it's digetic interface. I didn't look it up in the week I've had to look it up. Um, There's a thing up there. I, uh, no. Loker. Uh, you know, I have played so many survival horror games to know that personally, I would not survive. <laughs> you know, one th there's it's just one thing uh, playing a bloody blame. It's another to um, be stuck in a situation like this in real life. I'm just, I do not think I would survive. But on the other hand, I do have that barbarian instinct, you yeah. know? Excuse me, everyone. I'm showing my paranoia here. Yeah. Schematic. <gasps> What's that? I couldn't read it. Sorry, it went too fast. You can open your inventory and look at it. Read it out loud. Here? Yep. Ripper schematic. Bring the schematic to the... St okay. Uh, no. Okay. What? So, the Ripper, huh? The Ripper. So yeah, um, I'm going to tell you this right now. The Ripper is hard to use, but it's worth it. I really wish I could scroll to... Yeah, it's really weird that you can't. So what the hell did I do? You turned on the fuel. Are we trying... Are, we're trying to get fuel to... We're trying to get this thing back running like it should be. Because if it doesn't, it'll crash into the planet's surface and we're all going to die. What planet? Uh... A planet? Aegis 7, I want to say. It's just some generic planet. And what's this ship called again? This is the Ishimura. And this whole thing is a ship? Yeah. One ship? It's a big ship. Fuck. That animation is so good. That's solid. Hmm? That's solid. Yeah. Like that. Hey. 
And another on your right, I think. Interesting tactic. Remember that you should not try to run away from yes, things. Yes, I'm just trying to... Make distance. If you pick up that canister with Kinesis, cool things could happen. Hold right click. F. Click to throw. Do it. What the fuck? Where did it go? I don't know what the hell happened there. It just left. Thank you. Can you hear me? It's Kendra. They attacked me. I ran for it, and Hammond just. He just disappeared. Kendra? Where are you? Nice to see you're alive and well, Hammond. I've barricaded myself in the computer core. I can hear them moving outside, but I don't think they know I'm in here. She's salty or something? I can yeah. To everything from here. I hacked the route and found some reports from the colony. Even before they crashed. I'm sorry, where did I kill that thing? I got flipped turned upside down. It seems to be related to some artifact they found on the planet. Something called the marker. This way? Looking. I've got your location and I'm going to unlock the door to fuel storage. You can get to the engine chamber from there. You can just hit B at any time, remember? No, no, no. I wanted to get the item off of that one baby thing. Oh, um... I don't even know where I was. Hit B. Because once we get back on the critical path, we should figure out where you are. Nope. Oh, I just... Fuck. On that's right. Anything? Stomp on him. He'll give up his goodies if he wants to or not. Maybe this fucking corner's bug, now that I think about it. Hmm. Because it could just be that the item fell through the actual area. I was like, I was waiting for the cool thing. I was like, yeah. And then it didn't happen. I was like, oh. I was, I'm so mad about that. I'm really <sighs> disappointed. It's okay. Next time. So remember that problem that you had where you ran out of ammo? Because yeah. there were, and there were five guys barreling down at your ass. And yeah. you were in close quarters and you couldn't yeah, deal with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you going to solve that problem, Sarah? I'm a kinetic. There are more ways. I'm going to blow them up. There are more ways. I'm going to run. The flamethrower could do it, but it's very slow at killing things. Now, you've got a new toy called the Ripper. I'm going to tell you that that is built for situations like that. It's a very good friend of mine. It might be my favorite dead space weapon. It's definitely Pat's if that tells you anything. Mm. Remember that you keep seeing necromorphs run ahead of you. Oh, are they trying to go somewhere? Maybe they are. Oh. Infector. Get that line gun ready. He's dead. So his skin is way thicker. Good. Great. That's perfect. I don't know where you're supposed to shoot infectors to deal with them more efficiently. Okay. <coughs> okay. That was okay. That's the correct way to deal with them, though. Deal with the infectors so they can't make more shit oh, while trying to make nice. space. And then deal with the necromorphs it created. And then you're done. <sighs> Ripper downloaded. Why don't we take a look at that Ripper, huh? Remote industrial saw. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So the industrial, well, I guess I could just take a look now. Yeah. Let's see what key this is. Hopefully three. It All right. was. Take a look. 
Oh, I don't want to use it. Yeah. But just just release and just look at it. <whistles> that thing is mean. Okay, what is space? Space will shoot a saw blade. Actually, save. Okay. Just save. Pardon me. And then we'll just load that save when we're done playing. So let's just see what the Ripper does. Why don't we? Okay. Now what? Oh, this not the Ripper. Sure isn't. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's... <laughs> it's so cool! So that holds eight, by the way. So either it cuts through a lot of stuff at once in one straight line, or it hangs out in front of you. So in Dead Space 2, they change it. Oh, it's so cool! Isn't that the best? So can I use this weapon for the rest of the game? or? Oh, yeah. That's a good one. So let's see if we can't load that save. Options. Where the hell is the load save button? Lo save a load. Options. Controls? Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean. Just quit. That's weird. Let me just, uh... All right, I found it. You just have to quit. Which is very annoying, actually. So, how do you feel about the Ripper, babe? I quite enjoy it. Oh my god, the Ripper is king. The Ripper, or affectionately known king. by Pat as Ripper-chan, is a real powerhouse weapon. Because, like, that troop of, of five necromorphs you just start sawing through them and then the problem goes away. And if there's more problem, you can just get another blade going. And if they're all lined up, then you can just get another one going. Control? Oh shit, there's a thing back there. What thing? What? what, what, what? I don't know, look up. Look back towards where you were. Right there. Oh, and also that's a problem. Oh. Kill it. Nice. I can come back over here, right? Oh, uh, yeah. Where are you headed? Exiting zero gravity. Is this where I came from? I have no idea. We can just hit B. B? Exiting Alright, that's the correct way then. Okay. Are we still paused? No. Recording timer's going up, see? Oh, okay. That's uh, the door you just came I in I know, through. I wanted to get that item. Okay. You could just pull it to yourself with Kinesis, you know? Okay. Assuming you can find it. You little bitch. They're weird, like, scorpion tails make them a problem. Yep, grab it. F and E. And then there's another one. Whatever, that's fine. That thing dropped a line rack that you can grab. It's just too far away. All right, let's try this one more time. I want all my goodies. Um, hello? Yeah, it's kind of tacky. Something that I do really like in Dead Space 2, they, there are no things to make the, uh, like, to make the oxygen refill. Like, no inventory item, at least. Because busting open your inventory is stupid. There it is. Oh, great, an air tank. 
It's like that weird mechanic in Borderlands Can pre sequel. Can I? Just. What? Sorry, I wanted to know if I could just like run off the side. No. Because you need to be able to target somewhere. Just walk. Exiting there you go. You know what, that's silly, and if they had these sequences a little too long, I would say it would become even more silly. But because they keep them short... <sighs> Can you hold on function? Actually. What's up? The hell? Why are you not giving me what I want? Okay. All right. I wanted to turn that down, but I uh, wasn't allowed to. What are we turning down? The game audio a little bit. Oh, we might turn it down even more. It's just very noisy in here. Okay. Better. As you can see. Did I see that? Did you see what? Your volume thing? I don't know. Oh, that's fine. You better not. Why is it not going away? What the hell is happening? It went away. Wait. No, it didn't. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Technical difficulties. My computer's just been on too long? Technology, man. I can't help but hate it, despite all of the conveniences it's brought me. What if I just had a horse, you know? What, what, would my life be better? I just had to worry about a horse and not getting stabbed. Ugh, oh, but what if they... Ugh. Woof. What the fuck? Yeah, that's a that's a bad. Okay, let's turn it up for them. And that time it just went away, no problem. What the hell? I got the magic touch. I. <sighs> you did it both times. I despise inconsistency. Because if something broke the same way every time, then I can just get around that. I don't care. Oh. Organic growth in the engineering update. Unidentified growth is seen in other parts of the ship has reached engineering. I don't know what the hell this stuff is. It looks like someone threw their guts up over the wall. But it's spreading faster than we can cut it up, which is disgusting in itself. It's up the engine spoke, and if we can't find a way to stop it, it'll hit the main chamber day after tomorrow. I hope the dogs are looking into it, because it's way beyond me. Thank you for reading that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're totally right. Um, my inventory's full. So, uh, that's why I wanted you to sell the... Can you... Is it really full? Yeah, look. You only have these. But it has so many more spaces. Yeah, but you only have these. Oh, what's all the other spaces for? You get them later. Oh. Wait, what are you doing? What are you dropping? Hold on. I'm gonna look at your health. So that's why I wanted you to sell the uh, things that give you oxygen. Because we haven't needed them, if what do you, you notice. Okay. See? These things? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because we haven't used them at all. And the amount of air that we have is fine. Uh-huh, gotcha. So they're just taking up space. Gotcha. Cool, thanks. Little inventory management. And if we run out of space again, we'll just start throwing those oxygen tanks away because they're not very useful. But yeah, like... But yeah, just, you have a point. Like, inconsistency with how things break. Ugh. Guess not. Yeah. Do those lockers open up at any point? What lockers? All the lockers that are, like, at red? No. Red just means that they don't have anything in them. So, Isaac so just set pieces? Yeah, it just means that Isaac doesn't bother opening them. I'm trying to run, and it... I'm not running. It's Can because I not... you're on sticky. Oh, I'm on gloop. Did I go through here? That's where I came from, right? I don't know. I don't think so.
Well. This is Temple. Screw the engine. I can't restart it by myself. Temple, my man. So yeah, Unitologist just started busting up the fucking ship. Throw away the smallest air can. So yeah, that's why I was like, sell them. Gotcha. Who fucking cares? And we haven't used we haven't even thought about using them once. Well, I will do that next time. Yeah. Though another thing that is eating up space in your inventory is treasure that you should just sell and you have mm -hmm. no purpose besides selling. I just haven't got a chance yet. Yeah. Ugh. So gross in here, man. What a fucking wretched existence. So we talked about, oh, uh, God. Still full. So before you want to throw those away, those are each, I think, like 2,000 credits. Which is, again, why I was like, yo, sell them, though. I'll come back. Will you? Maybe. We could double back. We could pause the recording, double back now, and just sell shit. No, I have a feel. Well, yes. Go ahead. See you in a second. Fucking task manager again. Yep. All right, and we're back. We had a uh, fucking 15-minute adventure where uh, it turns out that my control just stopped working. I don't know why. Yeah, we had some typical technical difficulties. Um, you can you scoot over anymore? Yeah, I can. Thank you, honey. So yeah, I don't know what the hell happened, but I sold a bunch of stuff, and uh, we can now get medium med packs at the lobby. He was getting all frustrated, so I gave him a little smooch to make him feel better. <sighs> I was very annoyed. I don't know why... I don't know why that happened, and that... worries, annoys, and frustrates me. Careful now, you're backing into shit you don't know. You're also walking backwards, might I add. Uh... Sorry, the fear has set in. Just case the room. That's something that I, I, I don't know if you're like used to doing with like this kind of camera. But like trying to make sure that you can see everything around you, trying to make sure that you can look into a room and see the problems in there before they get to you. Yeah, that's something I'm just... Mm, I don't know. With this camera, it's a little different. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why I say specifically, because it, it's not really like like even the RE2 Maker 3 Make camera. Hmm. I like how he's like, ew, ew, ew. That uh, elevator that you just walked by? Huh? Is that how you get down? Oh, I'm getting down further? Yeah. Oh, goodness. This is why I prefer controllers, I think. This is one of the reasons. Going down, sure. Did my little kiss help you make you feel better? Yes. <laughs> Another stasis pack. And a stasis recharge. Oh, were they just in there? Yeah. Oh, it's 
like the snakes in Resident Evil uh, uh, 4. Yeah, thank you. So if you're missing two pegs off your health bar, mm -hmm. don't just hit quick heal. Go into your inventory and use a... Uh, use a media med pack. Sure thing. Because it, it'll refill the two and then it's out of your inventory and you don't have to worry about accidentally wasting it. Should I? Kill him? Yeah. I mean, it's a mercy. I mean, but like... Punch him. Just... Make it count. Okay. I think it's dead. And then on your right, there you go. Oh, sorry. Not one of those things you punch, huh? There's only been <laughs> two of them. I just want to punch everything. SMH. 5,000 credits. Ripper blades. Very good. And the ability to buy more ripper blades. Med packs. And gun. Wow, they really filled me up. Yeah, that's why the power node doors are really good. Because, like, to buy all of those ingredients would be more than the cost of a power node. And plus, you just got 5,000 credits as well. How many times have I died? Stop! Don't walk into that! I, I know! Okay, cool. You've died once, and it was because of the uh, swarm just, like, cheating to death. Gotta make sure. So here, just make sure you look down the corridor all the way. And I shouted because uh, you walked into one of those doors twice and almost a couple other times. Yeah, get him! So, handled. Cool. That upgraded plasma cutter is doing some work for you, I've got to say. Yeah. It's, again, like why I even challenged you to try and beat the game with just it. I understand the challenge now, yeah. Yeah, it's not really that Solid. much of a challenge. It's just, hey, use only the most reliable weapon. And like, yes, it's one weapon, but it is really reliable. Bonk. Save point. Save point. One thing that Dar uh, Dark Souls manages to do is that you do feel safe at a safe point. Like, bonfires are fucking safe. You don't really feel that safe at a Dark Souls... Or a, at a dead space. What? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. You know what it might be time for? Yes. Get in there. Walk forward with it. Find some meat. That was dumb. You popped it too early, but that's okay. Yes! Yes! Another one. Oh! <laughs> Careful now. Unreliable, but fun. Well, do you want to just load that save? Well, no. Sarah, what? you just shot ammo at him, but not, like, out of a gun. So those things are called pregnants, I think. Like, I don't really care if I do things perfectly or not. Can you make sure that you get those Ripper Blades, though? What do you mean? You Okay, so you grabbed Ripper Blades with Kinesis, and then you threw them at a monster, even though they were just in the box and wouldn't do anything. Sure. Because uh, if you missed those, I would really advise you load the safe. I think it's fine. I, dude, Ripper Blade. There they are. Okay. So a little bit of growing, blades, uh, growing pains with the Ripper Blade. Wait, hold on. Reload it. Oh, that's so lame. They made it much cooler in the second game. But yeah, a little bit of growing pains with it, but you can see that it's a solid weapon. Yeah, absolutely. Because a little tricksy. using it properly, you can use one piece of ammo to cut through three necromorphs. Oh, 
lot more Ripper Blades. Did mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah. And um, one thing, you popped it too early. Yep. Uh, I just didn't know the range with it. Yeah. Well, that's why I had you test it earlier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you popped it too early, so you wasted one. And then uh, you still have to, again, you do still have to aim and hit weak points with it. Mm -hmm. Very few weapons actually allow you to not aim. The flamethrower does, but it's very weak, so that's how it's balanced. Um, but then there was a moment where you were just cutting through one, and then you immediately went to the next one, and you were just cutting through him still, and just sawing through multiple necros in one, and it was really good. Oh yeah? You liked that? It's, yeah. Ripper's good. I Ripper's, appreciate it. Ripper's good. When you get to use it good, it's good. Good. <laughs> Um, I, I will say it is definitely a, a kind of a difficult weapon to get running properly, but like when you do, fuck, it's powerful. It's a lot of little nooks and crannies in here. You see that? Yeah. A uh, lot, lot of things for big shouldered Isaac to get stuck on. Yeah. But yeah, I, I really want you to use the Ripper because I love that thing and I want to see it shine here. Because... <laughs> Like, there are some problems that you can just solve with it, and it's and the problem is done. And, like... Well, unfortunately, I don't know if I could do it justice. You just gotta keep in mind that it shoots out a thing. I don't know, maybe the Ripper is a second playthrough weapon. Maybe. I will say it's also better in Dead Space 2. Skew. Okay. You think I got everything? I think so. Keep your hands. Sorry, my Watch the explosion. They're here? Here? Yep. Starting to run dry. Sorry, I tried to switch weapons. I see that. More incoming. Very good. Very good. More around you. Why did... Ah. Uh, sorry. That's empty. Here now, he's alive. What? Is that a bug? Good use of your walk. That was almost real bad. Yeah. So the Ripper is a good weapon to use when backed up into a corner. Yeah. But I got some monies out of it. Mm hmm Okay, that's out, I think. Eight. You. Five. Okay. Just make sure I reload. Cool. Where are you headed? Oh yeah, so in the in the uh, in the thing, uh, sorry, in the menu for the controls, the little path is actually called breadcrumbs, which is kind of cute, I think. You gotta hit the button again. Oh, I see. I guess that makes sense. Back up and watch. There we go. Yeah, they probably wouldn't want to show you, like... They wouldn't want you to be looking at their cool scripted event while also trying to have a big old Necromorph fight. Cool, where are we headed now? Neato. Did I do okay? 
Was it brave? <laughs> no. Oh, really? It's working. Well, you did you did argue that bravery could potentially be the ability to do something even though you are scared instead of not being scared. So I guess so, yeah. Wait, we're not safe yet. Ship's asteroid defense system is offline. On the way up, the ship's going to pass through a debris field thrown up from the planet crack. We'll be ripped to pieces unless you restart it. God damn it. I'll start working on it from here. Isaac, meet me at the bridge. You can do more good here than I can. You can take over when I get tired, which will be in five minutes. So you'd better be there in time. Hey, guess what? Hmm. I kissed you earlier, and you have some cute kiss marks right here. Oh, my God. You know, the whole internet gets to see this now, right? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? Maybe I'll get lost at sea. Bonk. Bonk. When are you going out to sea? I don't know. But it's time. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac. Where are you? You aren't real. What makes you say that? That's not a real lady. She has the dead mom voice. <laughs> well, it's the same voice. We saw her earlier. Okay. Let's stop over the shop. You got it. I did not like that. Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah! Okay, stop punching. You have to shoot it. Good use of the punch. But only the second one. <laughs> the first, third, and uh, fourth attempts were all out of fear, I suspect. Okay. I think we have to call it here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll catch you guys later then. This has been Dead Space. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.